sleep and that's the reason why we have this clinic that's correct so many people have so many things going on in their lives every day so many activities and errands to run work also problems things to think about and we don't take the time to pause a little bit take time for ourselves and even if we do when we go to bed or we go to sleep sometimes that's not enough or we don't allow ourselves to rest but that's the reason you're here, right? in this sleep clinic and that's the reason I'm here to help you I also suffer from a difficulty sleeping that's why I decided to help other people so that maybe in that way I can bring some positivity positivity into people's sleep patterns as well as to mine so before we get started with our session I'd like to offer you tea yeah I have this tea here it's a chai and it's very good it's also a little bit strong but I like it because its warmth always helps me get a better rest um, I think it's a little bit too hot at the moment let me check um, do you mind? If I tried, okay. It's a little bit hot still. Maybe we can wait a couple of minutes and then you can have it. All right. Well, if you're wondering which kind it is, it's this one. It's a mandala and it's from the brand Botanical Wisdom I just love it it's one of the few chai teas that I found at the supermarket that actually tastes like the real deal, deal. so it's definitely um, one of my favorites and I recommend it very much so I wanted to offer you that so we could get a little bit in tune with like a relax uh, relaxation mindset like a relaxed mindset I also want to offer you uh, another sensory stimuli which is uh, a smell this is a oil, an essential oil, and it's um, from Mexico. It's called Ocotzotl. Yes, Ocotzotl. It sounds a little bit oh, funny. This is going to help you um, just get in the mood, okay? So I'm just going to take a little bit with my finger like so okay and I'm going to rub it underneath your nose like that so you can smell it and also on your chest okay okay 
gonna smell it myself because it's so good. So, as you know, in this clinic, we specialize in giving you a good night's sleep. So, please make yourself comfortable and by all means, um, feel comfortable enough to ask me any question. Remember, this is a very intimate, um, service, even though we don't know each other. I'm gonna try my best to make you feel at home and at peace. So now, I'm going to do another thing, which is turn off the lights. And I hope that's okay with you. Very well. I think this will really help set the mood. And also, don't be scared of the dark. We always have an ambient light here, so you feel comfortable. And I want to start off by sharing with you a story. It's a very short story, but I find that hearing a story or maybe hearing a movie in the background sometimes helps to get our minds off of anything that might be worrying us or any thoughts that might be um, not letting us get the rest that we need because our brain is like always working and really fast paced and we just don't get in the right setting to just turn ourselves off. So I'm going to tell you a story that I really like by a philosopher called Platon and his story in some ways is a love story and even if this story bores you, well at least you'll also get some rest because you will fall asleep from boredom, I guess <laughs> so the story goes that at the beginning of time when humans came into the earth, we were whole beings, fully and utterly complete. We were perfect beings that felt fulfilled. And we had two heads and four arms and four legs. And we were just the perfect re creation. And because we were the perfect creation, and we felt so content with ourselves, we decided to wage a war against the gods. So we came up to the skies, and we fought a war with Zeus and other gods. But unfortunately, we did not win the war, and instead, when we went down to the earth again, Zeus was so mad at us that he grabbed a sword and he cut us in half as a punishment for our insubordination. So when he cut us in half, our belly buttons were created as a scar to always remember what we did wrong. And because cut us in half, we lost a part of ourselves in the world, and that is the reason why we're in a constant search for the perfect partner for our soulmate, or better yet, our better half. And so, that being said, even though it's a little bit of a sad story, I also like to think that it's a story that gives us hope in thinking that maybe out there in the world waits the perfect person for us. A person that's gonna make us feel whole and happy and complete. And my hope for you is that you've already found that person or that you are very close to finding that person. And I'm sure you will be happy and complete. So 
last story I wanted to tell you. I think now it's a good time to drink some of our tea that hopefully you don't mind we're sharing. <laughs> so please have some. How are you liking it? Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Very good. I see that you're getting a little bit sleepy, which is really good. So now we're just going to do a very simple and quick exercise to get you ready for bed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, guide you through a very quick and simple um, meditation. So I'm going to ask you to breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in through your nose for four seconds and then breathe out through your mouth for four seconds. Okay? Let's start. Now try it one more time. Great. Now, one more time, but when you exhale, you're going to close your eyes. Good. Now I just want you for a moment to try and focus completely on the sensations of your body, on the pressing of your body, with the bed or the surface that you're in and the rising and the falling of your chest or your stomach wherever you feel your breath the most just try and feel all those sensations and if there are sounds near you let them be part of this meditation just focus on all sensory stimuli and if you think of something or you feel an emotion I want you to simply note that you thought of something or you felt something so for example when I'm trying to meditate and a thought comes into my head and I start getting distracted, I simply say to myself, that's a thought, and then I let it go. And the same goes for any emotions I might experience. So now that you're feeling everything around you, and being aware of your body, I'm going to count to 20, and every time I count, you're going to breathe in and breathe out and with every exhalation you're going to feel as though you're sinking deeper and deeper into a deep sleep and you're just going to rest and feel completely new when you wake up so let's 